Top 10 craziest selfies you won't believe actually exist. Hello again, YouTube, and for Christmas this year, I got my family a selfie stick for myself that I've used so far to take lots of crazy selfies. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say Christmas this year? I meant a very late Christmas present to myself, from myself, from me. Thank you, me. You're welcome, me. Oh, you. Oh, me. All right, all right, time to stop being distracted by me because I have to get back to the topic at hand. Selfies of me while texting and driving, selfies of me pretending I'm making pipe bombs in our basement, selfies of me writing a fake death threat to a foreign leader. Oh, let me tell you, it's been fun so far. It's crazy how many selfies I've taken so far, but not as crazy as some of the ones I've seen on the internet. And that's when I got incredibly jealous and demanded that my family get me a new Christmas gift as a replacement for the selfie stick, in which they were quick to remind me that I bought the stick myself and that it's nearly February. For the uninitiated, this is Top 5 Best, and on today's list, I'm counting down the top 10 craziest selfies you won't believe actually exist. For this list, I made a fake Instagram account of a hot female model and asked if anyone had any crazy selfies that they could share with me. And while I did get some photos of what I was looking for, I also got a lot of photos of male body parts that I I didn't ask for, and it's, uh, I realize there's a lot of single guys out there who have no clue how to talk to a woman, uh. I then came out as a man, and then everyone docks me, and I'm currently waiting to get a new cell phone number and name change. However, before we get started, don't forget to drop a like on this video and hit subscribe, so that way you can keep up with all of our daily videos. Also, we try to respond to everybody in the comments below, so if you know of some even crazier selfies that exist out there, or if you got any tips to better help me catfish desperate incels in the future on social media, just let us know down below. If not, just say what's up. Number 10. In what was an attempt to come across as taking a crazy selfie, we start off our list with a woman drinking some coffee while being stuck in traffic. Being the millennial that she is, she actually captions it, this traffic, ugh, along with some emojis that now replace the convection of human emotion. It also seemed to take the place of human intelligence as well, because take a look at her sunglasses and you'll notice that she's actually on an empty highway. I mean, she's driving and taking a photo while holding a cup of, get this woman off the road! Her caption could actually say, this future car accident I'm about to get in. Ugh. Followed by a gravestone. And a ghost emoji. <laughs> Number 9. Hmm. Okay, so you're at a Trump rally. You see the man walking towards you. And in that moment, you whip out your smartphone, turn on the camera, and you manage to take a photo of you and Trump looking drunk. Okay, seriously, this looks like a photo that I'd expect to see in some crappy spin-off of the Hangover movies. Okay, first off, the guy who took the selfie seriously looks like he's about 14 shots deep. He's not even remotely making eye contact with Donnie whatsoever. Then you have Trump who looks like he's in the middle of some drunken tirade about God knows what, and then boom, you have the worst selfie photo of you ever meeting the 45th president of the United States of America. Like, how did this guy flag Trump down? Hey! Hey, Trump! I saw you in Simpsons! I love you in Simpsons! I, I played your game! Yeah, I, I, nobody else remembered! You have a game! Also, you sold steaks, they weren't that good. I love the steaks anyway! Come take a picture with me! I mean, given how chaotic this photo looks in the background, I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. The dude looks like he just ran up and snapped it, and maybe he should get his eyes checked, because I have no idea what he was looking at when he snapped this selfie. Also, why does Trump's eyes look like he just got out of a hot box? Number 8. Eh. Well, okay then. See, the beauty of the smartphone is a screen built into it, so you can see what your photo looks like right then and there after you take it. Heck, you can even flip the camera around and look directly into the screen, so you know what photo you're about to take. So, how come the girls in this photo never bothered to do any of that when they took this mirror selfie and uploaded it online for everyone to see a mother changing her kid's diaper in the background? Yeah, you know what, even if their phone didn't have a screen or if they forgot to look, they're literally standing in front of a mirror which is reflecting everything going on around them. You mean to tell me that they didn't see the baby changing station going on right in front of them before deciding, Oh, hey, let's say, let's take a photo right here now. Eh, kids are stupid. Just like mine. They like to take photos of me screaming at my wife and then say they'll call the police and show them. Speaking of taking selfies in a public restroom with kids in them, Number 7. Leave it to a crying child to ruin everything. In this case, number seven on our list here, we have a beautiful girl attempting to take a photo of herself in this public bathroom mirror. Why is it always the public bathroom with you people? I mean, it's only for it to be interrupted by a mother in the middle of punishing her screaming child with her sandal. Okay, first off, you took off your sandal to beat your kid with it in a public restroom, lady. That means your bare foot is sitting on the floor of a bathroom that literally dozens of people go in each day and really don't wait to get to the urinals. Uh, secondly, have some class. You're really gonna make a scene and beat your kid when there are witnesses? Amateur hour, I swear to God. 
Your old crime has now been captured on camera by a girl who was just trying to take a pretty selfie of herself. Also, that kid looks like he's fending for his life, and this is his last stand. The girl's dress does look good on her, though. Number 6. When at the zoo, maybe don't get close to the animals. Case in point, number 6 here. This prime candidate that I'm sure Charles Darwin himself would have had a field day with busted out her phone, only for her head to be almost consumed for din-din by the camel she was trying to take a photo of. The animal was making the face we all make when we're trying to bite into something that we can't fit our whole mouth around. Which leads me to hope that this woman's tasted awful in the end and wasn't worth breaking its jaw over. But could you imagine the seconds leading up to this selfie? You whip out your phone and turn on selfie mode, and before your brain can even process it, you see this hunkering desert horse come up and start to eat you. To her credit, if she wasn't able to take this photo, no one would probably believe her story and saw the bite mark just came from something else, like falling down several flights of steps when your legs forget to work sometimes, because <laughs> I know that happens to everyone and not just me. Number 5. Hey, don't worry, safety's off and my finger isn't on the trigger because that would be irresponsible. And what looks like an attempt to come across as a threatening individual ends up becoming a possible candidate for a Darwin Award. Like, what is this dude's endgame here? Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to show you my new gun I got today. Just wanted to show you all what its barrel looks like. Like, even if the gun isn't loaded, why are you taking this photo from this angle? You post that on social media, everyone's gonna think you're suicidal and have the cops come pink slip you. Also, if his goal was to take a photo with a gun, he screwed up since his phone automatically focused on him and not on it. Which tells me he didn't even bother to check his photo before posting it. Which is that really surprised me given that he didn't even think that maybe taking a photo pointing a gun at his own head was a bad idea. Number 4. You know, creeps are a huge problem in our society, so when you see something like this going on, how about instead of taking a selfie showcasing the moment, you just call the guy out and take a video of him being a creep so you can show the cops what he was doing. I mean, these two girls are smiling and everything. And I'm led to believe that they knew what they were doing because they aimed too high up if they were just trying to take a selfie of the two of them. Either way, this dude's a total creep, and these two girls are morons for making a joke out of an issue that lots of us have to deal with. The sneaky upskirt cameraman. You won't believe how many upskirt photos there are of me online that perverts have taken photos of. Number 3. This one couldn't possibly be any more well-timed. I can picture it now. This woman stood there adjusting her hair and staying in a spot where the light hit her just perfectly. Opening up her camera and turning on selfie mode and taking a pretty photo of her. Only to be ducked in the face microseconds later by a flying ball straight out of left field. <laughs> I love timing. And while I'd like to see the aftermath of the photo of what her head looks like, this perfectly timed selfie just sheds light on the part of baseball we forget and take for granted. That at any moment in time, you can get a concussion from watching the sport you love. Number 2! Whoa! Okay, tough guy. For number 2 on this list, we have a man taking a selfie just feet away from a dust devil in the Australian Outback. And it doesn't look like a small one either. That looks like a pretty big dust devil kicking up a lot of dust and small rocks that can easily cut up your face. I mean, just take a look at the dude's expression. He knows he's just a few feet away from an awesome force of nature. And you know what? He doesn't care. Instead of running to safety, he decides to take a picture. Because that's what you're supposed to do when you're facing death. Take a sweet Insta photo of it. It'll sure be interesting when you meet the Grim Reaper, however. Just show him that Instagram photo and I'm sure he'll just be like, mm. This is an interesting photo. You'll get to go back to life. All right, I saved the best for last, but first I have a quick challenge that only takes five seconds to complete. So if you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just give it a try, it really works. Number one. Hey there, Graham Graham. Before they close that casket, let me snag a quick selfie because I'm just that petty. You see, at most funerals, it's very appropriate to see people bawling their eyes out, remembering the loved one who has passed on and showing sympathy to the family, giving hugs and trying to make the atmosphere the best they can for those who had just lost someone they love. But then you got this one jerk, who on the other hand, I guess decided to put the fun back into funeral by taking a sweet photo of himself and his dead relative before they closed the casket and buried her six feet under just so he could score some likes on Facebook. <sighs> What's even funnier is that he's given the peace out gesture with his fingers, which I guess is his way of saying goodbye to his old grandma here. Like, can you just imagine being next in line to pay your respects and you see this dude just go up, hold on, let me take a selfie real quick. What do you think his caption was? Hashtag buy forever? Hashtag I'm a jerk? Hashtag I really 
should just stop this joke right now because guess what? That's it for this list. Thank you for watching this video, everybody. Like we always say, if you did make it this far, make sure to hit us up in the comments below. And we always try to do respond or just say what's up. And also, don't forget to drop a like down below, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys.